Okay guys, so back in the screen house, we got these two behemoths. This one here matches my PB at 36 inches on a dot. This one, excluding sharks, is my new PB for flatheads and also for any fish ever other than sharks. 39 inches is my biggest fish to date ever so far period uh, you know not including sharks flathead catfish look at his eyeball and his big old mouth wouldn't want to be inside of there but uh, if i have enough battery i'm gonna show you guys how to fillet a flathead well just in case it doesn't die i mean just in case it does die you got from your dorsal to your pectoral right here pretty much a line that goes up right here you can see this little line here that separates the stomach and then so pretty much behind the gill plate right here in line with the pectoral and the dorsal so you can just follow this line up right here and just kind of imagine it kind of centered here this whole strip of meat and then you follow that line down all the way down to the tail you fillet it just like any other fish catfish like i showed you guys in the video last summer with uh, catfish the easy way to fillet catfish or whatever i called that video you, you just go look at it anyway uh same thing is panfish bass whatever rockfish they're all filleted the same way only difference is with these up here behind the gill plate up here you got a big nugget of meat that uh a lot of people miss but you can cut that out but anyway yeah i'm gonna try to fit it all on here if not then you get the idea anything to say mrs i don't go fishing no more mrs <laughs> yeah yeah mrs all right uh you're gonna have to hold the camera i'll send these to you you can send them whenever it's gonna die soon so i'm gonna try to hurry up and just bust through the small one first Buzz, buzz. <clears throat> nah. Buzz, buzz, boss. Can you sit him on the floor, I guess? For oh, now? His wife, man. His tooth. Use that glove. Look at the cuts. Yeah, they mess your uh, hands up really, really bad if you don't hold them right. And even if you do hold them right, they chop down on you and still mess you up. So even if you do hold them right, those teeth. Yeah, you avoid the razor blade, but you get the teeth. All right, this is glove camera 2.0. Because they do get a big old razor blade in their bottom jaw. Stick him on the floor. Look in there. I already did. <laughs> My head could fit in that thing. Oh, I'm sitting on it. Just saying you on the floor. So I got room to fillet this one. Oh, that was a nasty sound. Just don't touch a GoPro with a nasty hand. That was the guts. <sighs> Alright. I forgot how tricky this is because you can't just flip them on their side and just go straight down like you do with normal fish. So you kind of got to do it like a deer because they're so big. If it was a smaller one, you could just flip it on the side. Being so it's not small, you have to kind of go in at an awkward angle. Like a deer, pretty much. I start right here on the dorsal and find the spine bones. And my knife is shrinking. Okay, there we go. Find the spine bones. And I just work my way right on down the spine like that. Until I hit that meat where I go through and there's no spine no more. And that tells me that I'm away from the spine. So I go back in. There it is. Back to the spine. Straight down the whole side. Like that. And all that on this side right here is all filet. Nice you do the same here. thing on that side and then like I said you go up here because there's a nugget up here where this same fillet extends up that's all that is it's just an extension of this fillet and it stops right here as you can see that bulge I don't know if they can see that on camera possibly and then you have this line right here I don't know if you can see this indentation get that out of the way Right here where the stomach stops, that's also where the meat stops. So you just follow that line.
tonight. Right on down. A little air sound popping out there. Yeah, it was the stomach part of it. Follow that line right on down. I can smell it. Till you cut through. And then you just make your final couple. Kind of like a tenderloin on a, on a deer. Just like a tenderloin on a deer. Exactly like a tenderloin on a deer. The back strap of a deer. You do this the same exact way. It'd be easy just like a back strap on a deer if you could hang them up and do it. I'm hitting bone right there, so. I mean, you can hang them up. Yeah, I guess I could, couldn't I? See, this is all bone right here. Hear that? That's bone. What do you got to see? These are ribs right here. See these ribs? Bone. That's bone. Some big bones. That's not so. My initial cut was under the ribs. I should have been just a little bit above. I was literally half, not even half an inch off. But anyway, I still didn't miss any meat. Maybe a little tiny bit up here. But you can always cut that out. Yeah, you can definitely always cut that out. And then you just go spilled. through. Wonderful. And just fillet it right off them bones. Yeah, like I said, it's uh, you you get the meat off the same way as any other fillet, but you have to just angle it different. Like instead of it being on its side, you got to do it straight up and down like this, which makes it a little awkward and hard and challenging and weird. But it's still not too incredibly difficult. What the bloody fish? It's kind of like a blue. Yeah. There's some bones. You just, you just cut at these. It's all bone. You can see each line of bone. You just cut at them until it actually starts cutting. If it doesn't cut, you're hitting bone. If it cuts, you know you stopped hitting bone. And bam. There's an entire flathead fish. Flathead catfish fillet. Sorry, I haven't been asleep yet. <clears throat> now, if he wasn't bait fishing, or if he was bait fishing, which he wasn't, right here is where you're going to find out what bait you want to use if you are going bait fishing for flatheads. Indeed. So let's cut that stomach open and I can already feel something big in there. Let's see what you got to prep yourself with. It's a lovely smell. Yeah, it does not smell pretty. On, on the smaller fish when you do this, oh. you don't notice it because it's such a small bag that you're cutting uh, it open. It looks like a shad. Is it a shad? Shad or a big shiner? That's a gizzard chad. Look yep. at the tail. Gizzard chad. Digested he gizzard ate a chad. he ate about a 13 inch gizzard chad. You know, if you put the head on it, it'd be about here. It may be a 14 inch, 15 inch almost gizzard chad. So you do not need to fish with small bait. <laughs> not for flatheads. They will take anything oh, you throw at them. That smells hard. You can't find small shad. 13 inches will do. 14, if not 15, with the head attached. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it does not smell pretty. Let's get that in the uh, trash. He must have ate that early this morning or last night because it's pretty digested. But anyway, yeah, on a small fish, when you cut the stomach open like that, you don't really smell it because it's small. But when you do it on a stomach that big, the smell just hits you and it's. Ugh. Anyway, let me clean the knife off after that. Just cut right through my favorite towel. Anyway, okay, so yeah, this is your fillet. Then you have, just like on any other fish, you got junk parts and good parts. A lot of people just throw this right on there, but then you're eating all the nasty stuff. So, like this is all fat. Uh, see the line of fat right there? I cut all that out. Then, same way as any other fish, I don't need to show you guys this. You, you know, you put the knife here, and then you go straight down, flush with the table to get the skin off. And then you gotta, you flip it over and the skin comes right off because you cut it off, obviously. And then, all you're left with is cutting off any extra junk like that. The if white, you want to be that thorough. If you want to be that thorough. I like being a thorough. Because one, it makes the fish taste better. It gives gets rid of that fishy taste. Two, it's healthier for you because you're not taking in all the mercury and all the toxins the fish has gathered its entire life. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Like I said, I'm not going to show the entire process. Just a quick summary because, once again, same issue as you guys have been seeing me with the one battery. And it's not going so well because Glennie hasn't, uh, Mr. TRK hasn't, hasn't bought us our new batteries yet. So Mr. TRK, you got to get on that. All right. This is the conclusion of this filleting of the episode thingy majingy. I don't even know what we're going to call this video yet, but it's going to be something. What are we going to call this video? It's going to be us Flathead fishing. Flathead filleting. I don't know. Yeah, but it's not just this. It's us oh. actually, me catching this morning and then me and Uncle Rich fishing. So what's this video going to be called? 
I think you should split them up into two. No, this is going to be one video. This is going to be one video. It's all one day. I think you get more views with two because people don't want to see all the rest. They, some people just want to know how to fillet a flathead. <sighs> okay, this will be just a flathead fillet then. So fillet and flathead. And then the other sections of this will be a different thing. But that concludes this episode. Let's see them teeth right there and show them the teeth. Of obsession outdoors. The W show is over. Teeth. <laughs> Good boy.